welcome back to another Sunday savings challenge with the Budgeting Sisters. I'm April and today we are going to cash stuff my weekly spending little wallet and my savings challenges and play one of the new games that I mentioned last Sunday in my video. If you haven't seen that, uh, go back and last Sunday I did a video about games you can play with things you have around your house. So let's get started. I hope everybody has had a great week and is preparing for a successful week ahead. Today's Sunday, so I'm doing a lot of meal prepping for the week, planning out my lunches, why I work during the day. I work from home, but I still like to spend some time thinking about what I'm going to have for lunch during the week and thinking about the meals and what we're going to have. So let's get right into counting the money. We've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 310, 315, 320, 321, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Let's separate this all out into my new little handy dandy tray. I just have a lot of uh, 20s this week, but that's fine. So let's start with my little wallet that I carry. It was a very sad week. There is nothing to roll over. Um, actually overspent some in gas and had to pull money out of my savings account, which made me very unhappy, but it was a lesson that we learned. So let's start with groceries. This week we have 160, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60. It's a little less than normal. Um, we've got enough meats in the house. So we are just going to be keeping up with veggies and cheese. And that is too much. Or I didn't fold it correctly. That's what it is. Um, I was supposed to be in San Francisco this week. But instead I'm going next week. So that also impacts grocery money. Gas is only getting 50. It usually gets 80, but I've already put 30 in. So we are going to put 50 in for gas. I feel like gas prices are going down, so that is a good thing. Um, and that's it for this folder. So how is everybody doing on their savings challenges? Um, I have been giving it a lot of thought because I want to reach my goals and I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that. And so I struggle with just focusing on a couple savings challenges versus focusing on a lot of savings challenges and spreading the money out. So I don't have an answer. <laughs> I'm open to suggestions. Um, but that is where I am right now. I know what my plans are for my 100 envelope savings challenge. So that is definitely a focus for 2023. I did decide that in doing other small savings challenges, 
I was really struggling with whether or not it was okay for me to take some of the other savings challenges when I'm done with them and move them into the 100 envelope savings challenge. And I just have to keep reminding myself that there is no set rule to what we are doing other than saving money. So if I feel like it's gonna give me more traction and help me accomplish my goals by moving some of that money into the 100 envelope challenge, then do it. I set the rules for myself and I quickly forget that. I'm a rule follower. I don't like to change my mind halfway through. I don't want to say, nope, scratch it. I'm not doing the 100 envelope challenge. It's taking too long. No, I, I want to do it and I'm committed to doing it. But I also need to remember that I set the rules. It doesn't have to be done in a year, but I want it to be done in a year. So how I get there is up for me to decide. And so I would love to know if anybody else is struggling with any of these kind of things. But okay, enough chatting. We are doing envelope 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, and that totals $60. So I am just going to take this 60 and paper clip it to these. I did decide that um, probably every quarter, quarter and a half, I'm going to take my smaller envelopes and combine them and move and fill up the higher envelopes, kind of like a condensing of the envelopes. So I will, you will see me refill numbers multiple times probably because of this. But um, anyways, $60 this week going to the 100 envelope challenge. Let me grab my tracker. I forgot. And we will color in one through 14. Not one through 14, 10 through 14. This is very exciting. Oh, I just need to do number 20 and I'll have the top two rows done. This form is uh, something that we created at the Budgeting Sisters for me to use. It is eventually will be available on our Etsy page once we get that up and going. But let's move on. I also need to stuff $20 into my pet envelope because I need to go fill up pet stuff today. So I've got 40 in there. That's plenty to get everything the cats need for the next month. Oh, my chair is squeaky. Okay. So that leaves us with 20, 30, and all these ones. Next, I want to show you a new savings challenge that I'm going to be doing. And what I did was it's, it's the $1 savings challenge. And I picked certain letters and I separated my ones ahead of time. And I'll fill in my trackers later so that you guys don't have to watch me fill them in because there's a lot. Um, but I, I didn't, I think I picked six, uh, yeah, six, I picked six letters and it's the letters on the $1 bill. The $1 bill has letters A through L and they're all, um, each letter is, it represents where the money was created or distributed out of kind of thing. So um, I got a bunch of ones when I went to the bank 
and this is what it came out to be. So for letter C, we have five $1 bills. And so what I did was I wrote on the back of my savings challenge, which these were created um, at the Budgeting Sisters um, for me to use. Um, so this letter C is going to my envelope challenge. So we've got $5 in C. Now it's pretty obvious which letters are made close to me because I have a lot of them. So for letter D, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And letter D is going to Disney. So we will put those in that envelope. <laughs> G. Letter E is made very close to me. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Letter E is actually um, out of Virginia, if I remember correctly. So the back of E says Edward. E for Edward. Edward is my father. So since Father's Day is coming up and I don't have any money saved for Father's Day, we'll see if we can get E filled maybe twice before Father's Day. Letter G, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for letter G. G, I think on the back says, yep, grandbabies. So we will put those in there. And every 25 that we get of those, we'll move that to Joshua's envelope. But exciting news, eventually I am going to have to add another envelope. I've got another grandson on the way. Um, no idea yet what his name is going to be. So we will see. That's why I wrote grandbabies on there. For letter H, we've got three, and H is going to health medical bills. And then we've got letter J, one, two, three, four. J says just debt. I couldn't think of anything for J. Um, and you know, the, the, the ultimate goal with all of my savings challenges is to get out of debt. So uh, J is for just debt. So I think that was a total of roughly $50 in ones going into my savings challenge. So this is going to be a new savings challenge that you see at least once a month. All right, moving on. We are going to do a new challenge that I showed in last week's video, which is flipping the cards. I've got just a regular deck of cards here, and these ones are San Francisco, and it shows all sorts of things. The electric trolley, the... San Francisco Bridge. Um, anyways, so let's flip a card and see how much we are going to save. Five. Five dollars. There we go. Should we flip another one? Uh, 20, 30. Oh, I guess so. What's the worst thing we could get? Ten. Ten dollars, right? So let's hope for something under five. Oh, an eight. All right, so we're going to do, so that's $13. One, two, three, there's 13. And then we don't put these back in the deck because we wanna work our way through the whole deck. So for now, I am going to put them in the envelope with the money until I figure out 
how I'm going to do this. And I haven't made a label yet for my envelope. Let me see. 8, 9, 10 is 13. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, $13 in that savings challenge. Now, let's do the penny challenge. How about we do... Uh, let's do 273 and we'll put in three dollars. This one is coming along slowly but surely. Now, I've already gone through all these ones and made sure they weren't any of the letters that I need for my savings challenge. So let's see how much the penny challenge has. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 5, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So a hundred and forty-five dollars. That is amazing and coming along really quick. And maybe when I do my envelope condensing, moving around, I might move down and do the same thing on the penny challenge. Just because these harder number, these higher numbers are harder to fill. Um, so. We might do that. We might not. Depends how the savings challenge is going. You know, if I can get some extra money and get those bigger ones filled, then we don't need to. We are not stuffing anything else for Disney. I am probably going to use my extra paycheck in June to do a bunch of the Disney funding. So... Next, we have the Emergent Bee, and this is from Two Sister Bees, and it's a free download, and we put $10 for each um, little honeycomb thing. So this week we are going to do $20. This one is eventually going to save $1,000. So I have a feeling it is going to take me a while, which is perfectly fine. So when you Print this off with two sister bees. You actually get an envelope for it, which is amazing. So the emergent bee has $40. And that is so exciting. Every little bit helps. Now we're on to the honeycombs. Not honeycombs, I'm sorry, the honey pots. Every honey pot, the way I am doing it is I save a dollar for every honey pot, and this will give me a hundred dollars. And it looks like this is also from the two sister bees, and it looks like this was their freebie for reaching a hundred subscribers um, or a hundred subscribees. I love watching their shows because they do all sorts of bee puns and play all sorts of games. So let's count how many ones we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So each row is 10. So we get to color in a whole nother row. And then we get to color into 28. I am going to color in these and chit chat with you just for a couple minutes. 
I'm still saving all of my change over here in my whale. Um, and this week when I put in some change, I had to like shake it so that my quarters went down. So that was exciting. That means it's getting full. And you know, it's, it's a smaller bank. It won't be as much money as when I filled the uh, spaghetti jar, but any little bit helps. I have a goal to pay off a bunch of bills by the end of uh, June, by the end of the second quarter. Ooh, I like this color. You probably can't even see it. It's a very light purple. I am like obsessed with shades of purple, trying to figure out what color I want to paint my office. My house is five years old and actually six years old. And all the walls when we bought it were white and all the walls currently are white. So I need to, oops, I've already used this color. I need to figure out what colors I want for my walls. But anyways, I got a little sidetracked there. I have some debt that I want to have paid off by the end of June to meet my second quarter goals. Uh, my goal for 2023 is to pay off a total of $25,000. And, you know, I'll be honest, that is going to be extremely hard. When I look at the figures right now, it clearly shows me that it's not going to happen. Um, you know, that being said, I don't work a second job. I find it very hard to work a second job while my daughter is working. So I choose to just work the one job and try to be as creative as I can at home with saving money or cutting back. It's nicer out. So I was just thinking maybe I would start to dry some clothes outside. Anyways, so, you know, my, my amount of money that I have to work with isn't going to change between now and the end of the year. So it's gonna take some sacrifice, some creativity, and even then, it might not happen. But you know what? I will try. I will do everything possible and stay positive and focused on the goal. It won't be for lack of trying that I don't meet it if I don't. But, you know, positive attitude, thinking I am going to do it. In Atomic Habits, it says, you know, to say you are um, going to do it or, you know, his example was don't say I'm not, I'm not, I'm taking a break from smoking right now or I'm trying to quit. No, you're not trying to quit. You quit and you are no longer a smoker. So I am going to pay off $25,000 this year. And I am going to do everything possible to do that. Everything possible that I can do. And that is all I can ask of myself. And you guys are coming along for the ride 
as I do all these savings challenges, try to get creative with what I have in the house to make fun savings challenges out of. Next Sunday is going to be a video of savings challenges you can do for free without having to buy them, assuming that you have a printer at home. Oh, I wasn't even supposed to color in those. Oops. See, I got talking and got distracted. Oh, well, when I go grocery shopping today and I get two ones back, I will have to put them in there. Okay, so we did $18 and we already had 10. So we are up to $28. This is so exciting. So this has been another week of great savings challenges. Again, these two are freebies off two sister bees. Uh, check out their face, not Facebook, check out their YouTube page. I love their videos. Um, like the budgeting sisters, they are two sisters that I don't think live near each other per se. Their videos are very separate, um, just like at the Budgeting Sisters. Uh, Melissa lives four hours from me. So, and when I visit, there isn't a place for me to stay in her house. So, it's expensive to go visit because I have to get a hotel room. And so, although it's only four hours, it's it's an expensive trip because you've got to add like 120 for a night for a hotel room and whatever. So anyways, check out the Two Sister Bees and their freebies that they have on their YouTube page. But I am April with the Budgeting Sisters and this is this week's Saving Sunday. Please like and subscribe to the Budgeting Sisters. I'm April with the Budgeting Sisters and I'll be chatting with you in the comments.